I'm on an old road. I can already assess that this is two rods wide. There are rock walls behind me. This is all old ground. We're going beyond the castle. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Open Space and Freedom Day in New Hampshire. Another Not Thursday. So, where am I today? Well, I had this thought. A couple times in the last couple years, we have visited Madame Cherie's castle in southwestern New Hampshire. Well, I've always wondered what's beyond the castle. Clearly, I'm on an old road. It's not just a trail. There are walls. There are rock walls behind me. This is all old ground. So although Madame Cherie's castle was, you know, a situation and moment in the early 1900s, this is all built on old land. More than likely, 1700s, 1800s, people were here. So that's what we're doing today. We're going beyond the castle. I will, at the end of this video, put the link to our visit here a couple of years ago, which was awesome. So if you didn't see it, you can see it. But in those times here, it was clearly evident just looking around at the rock walls that this was old space. And I've been meaning to get back here and well, today's the day. So together, we'll read the landscape, we'll make decisions. Holy Sam Squanch. And we will see what is out here. I guess the road may have continued that way, but seems like the beaten path is in this direction. So we'll head on up here. As usual, the trail drops right back onto the old road, which is succumbing to uh, renovations by the beavers. Yeah. A lot of water out there. So, just walking in. I can already assess that this is two rods wide, so this is not a main throughway road, more along the lines of somebody's driveway. So I'm sure there's probably a farm up there somewhere, maybe it dead ends. As you can see, I'm no longer on the road. I smell improved land. Look at it. Clean. Somebody cleared this a long time ago. And there's the small rocks, field stones, from clearing that. And for those of you who watch all the time, we appreciate the feedback that what we do helps you do your own research, exploring, finding sites, by reading the signs, reading the landscape. It's easy to decode once you have, you know, as much information as you can possibly hold in your brain uh, it just takes time but we're gonna find 
there's definitely an old home site out here. Uh, and obviously I've come off the road and not exactly shown where to protect the area, but we're close. There you go. You can see that lip. Like a no-brainer, just sticking out of the woods. All stone construction, stone chimney stack. So this thing is really old. And the flat field part we were just walking to uh, was out in the front. And as I saw it, this two rod wide road ended. And it makes sense because of the massive mountain over here. And that's generally what stops a road going through. You either come into swamp that never ends or a mountain. Not to say there isn't a cart path that weaves its way around, but for the civilized part of it, looks like this was it out here. And so when you guys look in at that area, how clean it is, flattened, smoothed, you know, there's the stone wall that runs along the side of it. This is what I'm saying about improved land and why it's so painfully obvious. Here is an example of where the water has been running off for a long time. Look at all the rock. It's just all stone right underneath the surface. So for these settlers to clear the land and you know I've read it took a couple generations to do it to get all these you know New England potatoes out of the ground these field stones that's why you can look in and say oh yeah that's improved because the rest of it is pretty lumpy and loaded with rocks I mean this is just outside the living space and the water has been running on this side of the wall, not on that side of the wall. Just exposing all these rocks. Unreal. And that's where I walked in and where the wall and the wall terminate and spread out. They just bellow on either side. That's the end of that farm. And then it just continues on as trail, which it's probably been for a long time. It's probably a cart path. But I highly doubt there's any more sites out there. That's just my thoughts and feelings. But I could be wrong. You never know. Well, that wasn't very difficult at all, but satisfying. So now, it's time to do a little bit of outside of the obvious exploring it's a nice day but the place is crawling with people out on the beaten trails here time to hit the woods So, you know, one of my rules of ranging, always, always go up, at least in the beginning. My thought is I'm going to loop around through the woods, heading back towards the castle and just see what's out here in the in-between. Pretty burly. You can tell I've already come up quite a ways.
cart path or a logging trail maybe. And it's not from logging. It's uh, not torn up enough on the sides. Definitely a cart path. The width is right. And it makes perfect sense skirting that big up. This is the best part about being out here. Get off the beaten trail where everyone else is going. And look for the signs of life long ago. That's exactly what we're walking on. You can, you can see it. It just cuts right up through there. Perfect. Makes sense popping out onto the trail that leads down to the castle. That's the side field beside the property. Been in there, telling you where I was. Um, remains of old cars and such. I don't know. The rest of it's just this massive mountain, which someday I want to get up to the top, but not today. Heat index is about a hundred degrees, so taking it slow today. Well, kind of. Well, just skimmed on by the castle. Too many people for my taste today. But that's all right. That's why we went out there. And it was quite satisfying. Hope you all enjoyed it. Today is a... I just did this because I wanted to know what was out there. Figured why not film it, right? Get out, explore your world. If you've been someplace, well, you know, push it a little bit further. Just cool to know that I've been here twice, knew the signs were there, but in a short walk, we find what's probably a colonial site. Awesome. So if you ever come here, spread out, enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy your not Thursday. <laughs>